You know, I completely forgot about a picture of Kokonoe that uh, Mori released not too long ago for the release of Blaze Blue Central Fiction for the Switch. And you can clearly see here that she's, um, let me just slow down a bit. So basically, Mori just basically released this picture to celebrate, you know, Blaze Blue Central Fiction for the Switch, I already said that. And um, it's funny to me that like now, she, now she's up here willing swords and junk. And I'm starting to think, oh yeah, I forgot. She might, she probably has been taught all this stuff by her father. You know, because we never, because like Mori had an idea for like Coconut Wave, like he had like a, st a story idea for her, but he had to scrap it or something like that. And he never got a chance, to, he, it was canceled, he never got a chance to actually do it. So he brought up this picture. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, this is, must be like during the time where um, Jubei actually taught Coconut Wave some more. Because like they explained that Coconut Wave was already physically, somewhat physically strong in the main Blaze Blue series. I think Hakuman says something about that, that she's actually pretty strong, and that wasn't because, like, you know, that wasn't because of the whole science stuff, or the fact that she was a bee, uh, bee skin. It was the fact that, you know, she has, like, um, some good martial arts skills and, you know, um, sword skills. And funny enough, Kokonoi would be the last person I think of, because, like, yeah, it makes sense that, you know, Jubei did teach her some sword skills and jump like that. That would be cool. Now, it's not aware of what kind of sword she's wielding. Most likely, since Jubei wielded Musashi, which is just two swords, Coconut probably got a hold of two swords and you know use that. Like I swear to God, I could just feel it that Mori like it, it seems weird out and out of the blue to like bring this design out of all things, considering the fact that like doesn't have this doesn't have a blaze with alternative dark war hashtag to it because before we saw stuff like uh, for um, dark war we saw stuff like Trinity who was in uh, a tear me the tear me hood. Make it seem like she was possessed by Terry and stuff like that, which does look pretty badass, I do say. Mori also released for uh, Alternative Dark War, um, apparently a new esque Ragna. Like she's wearing like Ragna's clothing. Like she has like um, the, she has a choker on. It looks like Ragna's collar. Like like uh, she has a choker on. It looks like Ragna's like you know his actual um, yeah, his, like, I was right, his collar. Uh, she has like a jacket hanging off her arm. And he has like a band like um, and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, damn, like, I actually like New now. She looks cool as hell. And then I'm starting to think, and then she also released, like, a Samurai Kagura. And it makes me think, oh, yeah, it makes sense because, you know, like, like, Kagura was, like, trained by uh, Tenjo Hamano Hokusaka. And I'm starting to think, what if Kagura's more like a samurai? Like, all these designs look cool as hell. And then Mori busts out Kokonoe looking all badass and junk. But this is, like, teen Kokonoe. still like her in her younger years. And I'm thinking this is before she got in all of him heavily involved <clears throat> in the science and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, damn, he, he didn't have an alternative Dark War hashtag on it. So this most likely isn't having anything to do with alternative Dark War. But if it does, I swear to God, Mori could just reuse the design. Because, like, it, it makes me sad. Because, like, when, when Mori comes out with cooler alternative designs for these characters and they are not going to be used, it makes me sad. And I already know that the whole alternative Dark War thing, oh my God, this. <laughs> dude, alternative Dark War has been. It's been announced since eight, um, August 2017, and we have said, seen like no news of it. And I, I just don't even care no more, really. I don't even care about Dark War no more, dude. I just don't because I'm so like it's just, it's a mobile game, so I'm not even hyped enough to begin with. But it's Blaze Blue related. I love Blaze Blue, so you know I was hoping. Okay, let's see what it looks like. And it's been more almost almost two years now, so you know, F it, screw the alternative Dark War until I until I actually see a proof, any proof of concept. Then yeah, alternative Dark War really isn't my my priority but not but whatever about that the point is like i like this coconut i design and i just wish i i don't know why if dark war ever did become a thing i would feel like mori could just reuse this design or whatever hell if ray if ray quell if ray quell can get the alternative dark war if trinity can be, be possessed by um be possessed by terry or whatever's happening if kagura is a sam a dark samurai if news Ragna now, then yeah, I could definitely see Kokonoe, you know, being part of alternative. This team Kokonoe being part of alternative Dark War. Somehow, Bully existed. Bully existed in alternative Dark War for some reason. Ibiki exists in alternative Dark War for some reason. Freaking Rayquel exists in alternative Dark War for some reason. And considering the fact that Blazewood has all these possibilities now. I don't think it really matters. Does it really matter who possibly an alternative Dark War? Or whatever? 
I'm going off tangent here. I'm going off tangent. I'm just talking about coconut oil. The point is, this coconut oil is cool, and I wish she was just, you know, not relegated just a picture. Like, more keeps coming out with these cool ass designs, and I'm thinking, well, damn, man, this would have been great to use if it wasn't just a picture, but whatever. Point is, that's all I gotta say, and I'm out before I. Like, it's just gonna devolve me to ranting about Altaro and Dark Warden. To prevent that, to prevent myself from getting into that, I'm gonna leave it now. See you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Peace out.